Now weather with meteorologist Elisa Rafa. Good morning and thanks for joining us. I'm sure either tornado sirens or thunder and lightning, heavy rain will queue up on the overnight. We did have a line of strong and severe storms move through. It did move through quickly. It only took about four hours for it to get through, starting up around midnight, pushing across the Ozarks and ending here about three, four o'clock this morning. Again, some of the highlights of the storm reports is wind damage is littered across Springfield. You'll want to be careful. Lots of lights are out. There are lots of tree limbs and power lines down. Rogersville and Sparta so far seem to be the hardest hit area. Areas. We did have tornadoes observed during the event. We had tornadoes confirmed as we were going through it. So I expect the Weather Service to survey the damage and confirm tornadoes today. Again, Sparta, one of those hard hit areas um, with trees down, barns toppled and taken apart, roofs also peeled away. This is also from Rogersville as well. So again, waking up to that damage. The good news is, as our threat is over, the tornado watch has been dropped area wide. So, again, uh, we're in the clear this morning. We just have some showers lingering and left to the east. A couple of lightning strikes around Melbourne. Salem and Ash Flat in north central Arkansas. But again, that's about it. Just a few showers left behind to the south and east. We've got some drizzles in Springfield and clearing otherwise. Our front is exiting to the east and to the northeast. So we'll find some clearing skies as we head through the afternoon. It looks like we're already starting to see some clearing in the north and west corner of the area. We also have some cooler temperatures that will filter in behind it. We're starting out in the 50s right now, and our highs only making into the 60s today. So we'll find some temperatures cooling through the afternoon on that west and northwest flow. As you can see by those lines wrapped around the low, those are lines of pressure. They're tightly packed, squeezed against each other, which tells us that it's windy. So we're looking at some breezy winds on the backside of this as well, with some gusts up to 30 to 35 miles per hour as we head through the day today. These breezy winds will wrap around and get into the ocean. So, again, it's going to be breezy one today out of the west and northwest with some gusts up to 30 miles per hour at times. We keep winds pretty steady on the overnight, and then into tomorrow, we stay in the circulation of that low. So, we'll keep winds breezy, especially early, and then those winds finally taper off later on in the afternoon, uh, clearing the latest to the east. As far as the sky coverage today, we clear out the skies. As we head through the afternoon, expect more sunshine by dismissal. Temperatures cooler in the upper 50s and lower 60s. We're mostly clear. And cool tonight with temperatures in the lower 40s. And then by tomorrow, we keep the sunshine and we keep temperatures on that downhill slide because we'll still be wrapping around some of that cool air on the breezy winds on the back side of that front. We stay in the circulation for it for about two days. So breezy and cool again on our Tuesday. The week overall looks pretty cool. We're back up closer to average on Wednesday. That's ahead of our next front with clouds and showers increasing by Thursday and Friday. Temperatures come down again into the 50s and 60s to be a little bit cool, recovering through the weekend. But for the most part, temperatures look to be below average for most of the week, with the exception of Wednesday. That's the only day that will be a little bit closer to average. Our average for this time of year is about 68 degrees. So 63 today. We're starting out with the clouds and the debris around, so be careful. Clearing skies through the afternoon, turning mostly sunny. West winds will be breezy, gusts up to 30 miles per hour at times, 63 for that high. 42 overnight, cool and quiet on steady west winds. Uh, 61 degrees tomorrow, some cool sunshine. Temperatures stay below average, and winds will stay breezy with gusts up to 30 miles per hour. We start to get closer to average on Wednesday. Steady south winds push us back up towards 70 degrees. Our next cold front rolls through by Thursday and Friday with a chance of a couple of showers there. It looks like we dry out for the weekend with temperatures gradually warming back up through the 60s.